and welcome to Kids Corner. It's Shirley and Sir Winston, and today we're going to learn to make a daffodil card. So what are you going to need? Well, it's helpful if you've got something a little thicker than paper that you can make into a card. Um, maybe some construction paper, or perhaps you already have cardstock. I happen to have some. And then some different color pieces of paper. You could have white. Uh, I have yellow and blue. You'll need a pencil and eraser, scissors, glue, and maybe some markers to decorate the front. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're kind of going to make the inside of the card look like a sky. You can do it by coloring or painting, but we're going to do it by taking a blue piece of paper and we're going to lay the card down against it. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the card out a little piece on one side because the blue will not go all the way around the card and we're going to do the same for the bottom. And then we're going to take our pencil and going to go around the edge of the card. And then we'll cut it out. Now we'll take our cutout piece, we'll take the side that may have pencil marks on it, and that's the side that we'll take our glue stick and put glue on. And you may find it useful to have uh, a sheet of scrap paper or something to protect your table so that you don't get glue on it if you go over the edge. So now that we've put glue around the edge and in the middle, we'll pick up our piece of paper and we will put it down on our card. So we'll press it down and then the card is folded. So we'll fold and crease it. Because it's very important to know where the crease is. So next we are going to do the petals. So I'm going to take my piece of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and then in half again. I'm kind of going to lay it down to help me figure out how big I should make my petals because I don't want the petals to be more than halfway down on the blue. I want them to be less than that and I'll draw out a petal shape and now I'll cut it out. And in doing that, because I folded it over, I'm going to have four petals that are the same. And then what I'm going to do is take one of those petals and trace it out again. So it'll be the same size, but really I'm only going to put it on half of one because I only need six petals. So I just need two more. So trace it out and then I'll cut it out. There, I have my six petals laid out and make sure that if you have one end that's kind of the sharper point that you have them all in the same way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little circle and cut that out and that's going to be the middle of our flower, it makes it a little easier to have something to kind of attach our petals to. So let us start gluing our daffodil on. So let's take our circle, glue on the back, and we're going to put it just above halfway and across the fold, like here. 
Now we're going to take each of our petals, we'll put glue on the back, and we'll go around the circle that we glued on. And there's what it looks like so far. Daffodil, if you remember the ones that we made from the uh, egg carton, like the ones there, has a little piece in the middle that sort of sticks up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of yellow paper and we're going to cut out a rectangle. think we'll go around kind of the center part. I'm going to take this rectangle and on one side of it we're going to cut a wavy edge because if you look in the center of a daffodil the part that sticks out kind of like is through with petals so it has a wavy edge. So it's like that. Then what we're going to do glue on one side of the edge and we're going to overlap it over to form a cylinder. We might have to hold it for a few minutes for it to dry. Now that it seems to be dry, what we're going to do is Check to see, and we're going to crease it. So we want it to lay flat, and we're going to put creases in the two folds because the folds are going to match the fold that's in the card. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to cut it so that there's going to be a little flap in the middle of each end. So we're going to make a cut just to one side of the middle up and down. And then we're going to go in from the side and join up to the cut that we made in. We're going to open it out and we can, if we want, put little creases around it so that it kind of has that roundy shape. Now what we're going to do is fold these in, fold in the tabs, push them out a little. What we're going to do is rather than use the glue stick, I think it's going to work better if we put glue on our little tabs. So on the bottom of the tab, we're going to line up that those creases that we put in match up with the creases that are in the card, but we want to put it on so that it's not, it, it still is more like a circle. You don't want to make the top of this too narrow and it's useful whether you have your fingers or because it's small and my fingers are big I'm going to use the top of my pencil to press down on the glue on the tabs so that the glue will dry. So there you can see what it looks like and then you can fold it in and then when you unfold it, it sticks out. Now, when you're sure that it's all dry, you can decorate the front. Well, Sir Winston and I finished it. We did a few more touches after it finished drying. You can see that we've added a little bit of stem there. And we decorated the front of it saying, thinking of you. We decided that since we're in the lockdown and we're kind of missing some of our friends and family, that perhaps we try to write a letter or send a card every day just to make people, well, have a little pick-me-up and feel a little happier about this time. So it would be really nice if you would think about doing something like that, making a card for 
some friends or family and sending it to them. Help brighten someone's day. Shall we have a little prayer together? If you could bow your heads and repeat after me. Loving God, thank you for being with us. Help us to be kind to each other and to your world. Amen. And we'll see you next time at Kids Corner.